Hello guys, welcome back to this channel. Hope everyone is fine. On that note, let's start this video. So this is week 2 assignment of the course introduction to machine learning. Guys, for the past 5 years, we have been giving solutions for various NPTEL courses including introduction to machine learning course as well. So we tried our best to give you the most probable solutions guys. If there are any changes that come to our notice, we will definitely update that in the comment section. So if you feel there should be any changes to be made, you can give a personal pro uh, solution in the comment section guys. So we will try to sort it out. So please watch the video till the end guys, don't skip the video because if I make any changes you can be able to note that. So watch, do watch full video guys. And please like the video then only our video will appear in suggestions for other students as well. So they will also get benefited like you. So let's see the first question guys, state true or false. Typically linear regression tend to underperform compared to k nearest neighbor algorithms when dealing with high dimensional input spaces. So for first question, the probable answer is true guys. So mark true as the probable solution for first question. Now let's move on to the second one. Second question. Second question. Given the following data set, find the univariate regression function that best fits the data set. So for second question guys, so when I did this, I have got the answer as 1.65 into x plus 2.0325. So if you see this, so what will be the nearest option guys? 1.65x plus 2. So this one third option f of x equals 1.5 x plus 3 so if I see here I got I've got uh, option C as the nearest one so I'm going with third option guys if you got it exactly you can please mention that in the comment section so I'm marking third one as the probable solution guys now moving on to the third question third one Given, given a training data set of 500 instances with each input instance having 6 dimensions and each output being a scalar value, the dimensions of the design, design matrix used in applying linear regression to this data is. So for third question, I have got the answer as 500 into 7. 500 into 7. So the training data set into input instances so number of dimensions n plus 1 so 6 plus 1 is 7 so 500 into 7 so mark second option as the probable solution for third question now moving on to the fourth one guys so before getting into this fourth question i want to make a small announcement guys so that is regarding exam preparation mcqs for the course introduction to machine learning we have prepared the exam preparation mcqs guys these are completely previous past years nptel assignment questions so with five years of nptel experience we have collected these guys here you are going to get a huge number of 600 mcqs guys 600 mcqs for just 500 rupees only so if you purchase with five 500 rupees up to five members can get that same access guys so if your group of friends or classmates are doing the same course 5 members combinedly take this pack for 500 guys so validity will be till the exam day you can ex extend up to till the results day guys so such option is also available you can search any question you want and it is also easy to revise due to as it is a pdf restricted pdf guys google drive restricted pdf link so you can search the question I mean any uh, sentence or any word any letter you want and it is explanations also provided for many questions guys most of the questions explanations is also provided along with the solution so if you want to purchase then you have to mail me to this email id guys so bk179 417 at gmail.com you can mail me to this email id guys bk179 417 at gmail.com so i'll give the same email id in the description box as well guys so this is the mail id if you want to purchase so remember guys only if you are confirmed to make the payment then only mail me guys so this is the mail uh, mail id many students are messaging us 
so we have to set everyone in the priority order so first serve first first come first serve will be followed so if you mail at the earliest you can get it very fast guys so this is the mail id if you mail me regarding this subject if you want and how many persons access you want if you specify that in the mail i will tell you the payment process guys so with five years of nptel experience we have collected this guys 100% NPTEL syllabus oriented so 600 MCQs you are going to get for just 500 rupees only up to if you if one person purchase with 500 rupees up to five members can use that guys the validity will be till the exam day and such option available and it's also easy to revise and explanations are also provided for most of the questions guys so this is the mail id so please share this news with your friends and college mates in your whatsapp unofficial college groups and please share this news and combinedly take this pack forming a group of five members so that's it guys for this video so now let's get back to the solutions so for uh, fifth question right so fourth question actually so for fourth question option first option guys both assertion and reason are true and r is the correct explanation of it next moving on to the fifth question now select the true statement so for fifth question i have got the answer as once again option one guys subset selection methods are more likely to improve test error by only focusing on the most important features and by reducing variance in the fit next sixth question guys sixth one rank the three subset selection methods in terms of computational efficiency so for sixth question it should be Second option guys, forward stepwise selection is the best computationally eff efficient uh, selection method and next followed by forward stagewise regression and finally the least one is best subset selection. So uh, second option is the probable solution for sixth question that I have got. Next seventh question guys, choose the true statements from the following. So it's a multiple correct uh, choice guys, so they have as they specified. So for 7th question I have got 2 probable solutions. The first one is lasso regression is better suited for interpretability than rich regression. First option and the other one is third option rich regression has a more stable optimization than lasso regression. So I have got these two as the probable solutions for 7th question. Now let's move on to the final question of that is 8th question guys. Which of the following statements are true? So for eighth and final question of the assignment, I have got two probable solutions. The first one is first option itself and the other one is the last option. The resultant vectors obtained when performing PCA on a data set can vary based on the scale of the data set. So these two are the probable solutions for eighth question that I have got this. So that's it guys for this video. So do remember to purchase this 600 MCQs PDF pack Google Drive restricted link guys. So it's a PDF link restricted link. So access up to five members. So for 600 MCQs, the price is just 500 rupees only guys, up to 5 members can use that. So valid till the exam day and such option is also available, easy to revise as well guys. So this is the mail id, bk179417 at the rate gmail.com. You can get uh, this email, I mean you can get the pdf if you mail to this email id guys. So remember only if you are confirmed to make the payment then only mail me guys. So I will give the same email id in the description box as well. So friends these are the solutions for week 2 assignment so hope this video helpful for you if you feel the same please subscribe our channel like this video and definitely share this with your friends and classmates guys so that's it guys for this video so until the next video keep supporting us like this goodbye